So we watched the Tales of the Empire trailer, where we witnessed the comeback of Barriss Offee. We also saw Darth Vader, who will eventually not only train the other Inquisitors, but more specifically, Barriss Offee, the newest acquisition to the Inquisitor team. But throughout all this, we failed to mention the master of Barriss Offee, and a Jedi that was prominently known within the Jedi Order, even to Anakin Skywalker slash now Darth Vader, and that is of course Luke. Minara Unduli. What's even more interesting, outside of she being the master of Barasafi and that connection that we have from Tales of the Empire and Barasafi, there's another connection if you watch Star Wars Rebels. You know that Luminara Unduli was caught by the Empire, executed, and her remains were still preserved in order to trick further Jedi into the prison we know as the Spire. We also saw Kane and Jarrus and Ezra Bridger be tricked by the remaining force aura of that corpse. In fact, it was the Grand Inquisitor himself who did this, who tricked the Jedi into revealing themselves so that he could kill them. So now you see that it isn't just Barasafi. It's the fact that in the future we know Unduli will die at the hands of an Imperial, and in fact Dave Filoni has told us a lot, lot more. So what actually will happen with Barasafi in Tales of the Empire, and will Luminara Unduli be making a cameo in that series too, and meeting her end at the hands of her former apprentice Barasafi? First of all, let's talk about about how things got here, because we know that after Barasafi betrayed the Jedi Order out of anger of its involvement in the Clone Wars, Luminara Unduli was very much shaken by what her apprentice had done. In fact, in order to find solace, she focused her attention completely on the Wookiee city Kichiro, which at the time during the Clone Wars had been damaged a lot by the Confederate attacks on the planet Kashyyyk. So as she focused on repairing the damages to the city and preparing new defenses, she ultimately spent months preparing for the upcoming invasion of the Separatists to the planet Kashyyyk. In fact, this is her ship. She is seen on Kashyyyk piloting the Delta 7B, and during these sieges, she also served alongside Yoda and many Wookiee warriors. Order 66 is when ultimately stories usually diverge between canon and legends. In canon, Luminara Unduli led her forces into battle against the droid army. So in the midst of this battle, it, this is when Order 66 was executed. And it's at this point that we have two complete different storylines. In Legends, once Order 66 was issued, Luminara Unduli, together with Barriss Offee, in Legends again, was killed by the clone troopers who were ordered to kill their Jedi commanders. We have a deleted animatic that was supposed to be presented during Revenge of the Sith during the execution of Order 66 but it didn't make the cut. However, in canon, things went a bit differently. Luminara Unduli fortunately had escaped the clone troopers, and throughout the years, it was believed that she had been shot down by her troops on Kashyyyk, but in actuality, Luminara had for a brief time escaped and then ultimately taken into custody by the Empire. Once the Jedi Order was destroyed and Sidious declared himself the Emperor and transformed the Republic into a galactic empire, things changed for the worst because now it was carte blanche on the Jedi. There were Inquisitors, Darth Vader, clones, stormtroopers, everybody was after the Jedi. What we never saw, however, in Star Wars Rebels was how Luminara Unduli came to the custody of the Empire. What they did to her on the spire on Stujan Prime. You see, it is said in an interview by Dave Filoni that Luminara Unduli did, in fact, spend some short time in a prison known as the spire on Stujan Prime, where therefore, after a while, she was executed in her cell in the presence of the Grand Inquisitor. In order to humiliate the Jedi and Luminara Unduli further, the Grand Inquisitor held her remains for future purposes. As we see in Star Wars Rebels, the Grand Inquisitor used her remains to lure in Jedi, surviving Jedi, more specifically Kanan Jarrus and Ezra Bridger. Now we come to the point where we need to talk about Tales of the Empire, because I think it is very important for us to see how Luminara Unduli got imprisoned by the Empire, got caught by the Empire, 
and what they did to her on the spire. And I think that Barris Offey has something to do with this. You see, De Filoni himself told us that the Grand Inquisitor was there when she was killed, when she was executed in her cell. What's the first thing we see in Tales of the Empire trailer? We see Barris Offey accompanied by Imperials and led to the Grand Inquisitor, who takes her to select a lightsaber and to actually train with him. And I think this is no mere coincidence. And it isn't just the Grand Inquisitor. Then, to top it all off, we get to see in the end Darth Vader walk in the room where Barriss Offee is located. Naturally, of course, Darth Vader not only knows that Barriss Offee is who she is, but he also knows who is the master of Barriss Offee, who was, in fact, the master, and that is Jedi Master Luminara Unduli. This gives me an idea of how the Inquisitor training of Barriss Offee will eventually go. It will be a collaboration between the Grand Inquisitor and Darth Vader. Darth Vader more specifically will test her abilities, will test if she has let go of the light, if she is fully committed to the Inquisitorius and to the Emperor. Therefore, he will be the one to present Luminara and Dooley in front of her former apprentice, and he will force Barris Offee to kill Luminara and Dooley in her cell, execute her as a show of loyalty. This will eventually show the tragic downfall, and even further downfall, of the mysterious character Barris Offee. Only by killing her former Jedi Master will she show to Darth Vader that she is serious. But for me, this is the point where most of us could disagree, because I don't think Barris Offee will kill Luminara Unduli. This will be a very intense moment of back and forths of the Grand Inquisitor and Vader testing her to kill Luminara Unduli, and when she doesn't, this is when she escapes, perhaps, and tries to forge her new path, her rogue path similar to Ahsoka. This is one possibility, the best possibility, I think, and the other one, of course, is that, as De Filoni has said, she was, Luminara Rinduli was executed in the presence of the Grand Inquisitor, and the one who executed her will be Barris Offee. Unfortunately, this might be another possibility to which I think it could be provocative as well to see Barris Offee fall down even further, but eventually, to the fans, Barris Offee is a tragic character, not a dark character. And my thinking would be it would be best to preserve her humanity a little bit more so that perhaps we could see her in Ahsoka Season 2. She will have a lot of things to, to regret, but one of them might not be killing her master. She didn't. She escaped. This would be, I think, ideal, but I would love to know your thoughts as well. Do you think if Beresofi presented with the opportunity would kill Luminara and Dooley or not? Let me know down below in the comments.